other thing we're going to focus on this week is the concept of one word. Okay, the concept of one word. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, and I know it's already 2019. We're already eight days into 2019. But it's something that I think we can still look at. What, what do you want your 2019 to look like? How do you want to live your life um, as, as, uh, as a person this next year? Okay, it's not 365 days, now we're down to under 360. But how do you want to live your life? What do you want to become um, in this next year? Okay, what do you want? Not necessarily a resolution, because resolutions often get broken, really. Many people have already broken their resolutions. The, the stats are unbelievable. Uh, resolutions are broken very, very, very easily. I believe more in, in saying, don't make a resolution, just make a way of life. Like, live. Don't, don't live by a bunch of resolutions and a checklist you set up. Live by just living. And if you say, I want to live like this, I want to live like that, then, then that's how you should do it. And if you want to live to be more creative, well then, live every day to be creative and, and find new ways to do things. You should have a way of life. One way we can do that is by with the one word concept. And I really like this. Um, a lot of people have, have started to do this um, and, I, and I've kind of bought in and I want to present it to you because what better way to start our semester and our year by having that concept of what you want this next year to look like for you. So one word philosophy is this. It's more than just a word that you use just to, to use. It's not a trending word. This isn't picking a word that's trending, you know, like you see on Twitter, okay? This isn't the word of the day. This isn't even the word of the week or month. This is a word that you want to live by and use for the rest of the year. It has meaning behind it. It has purpose behind it. It has an impact to you in your life. It's not a word you choose for other people. It's a word that directly correlates to who you are and who you want to be. Okay, so I, I want to look at this one word philosophy. So 2019, Happy New Year, what do you want this year to look like for you? Not even semester, because some of you seniors, you're going to be start, finishing high school and starting a job or starting college, all within the same year. So how do you want this year to look like for you? Juniors, you're going to be finishing up your junior year and getting ready to start your senior year. You're going to maybe have a, a potential to have a good summer job or summer work experience. How do you want this year to look for you as an individual? So there's some steps I want you to look at, okay? This word that you choose, first of all, should be one that represents your hope to focus on in the upcoming year. It should represent a hope that you have for yourself, a desire, a passion that you have for yourself for the upcoming year. One word and one word that represents your vision for life. Not just how you feel in this moment, for your life. So this is a lot to it. For your life and what you do. So that one word that represents um, who you are and what you want to be. Dabo Sweeney, and use him because he's a big proponent of this one word. Uh, he's a coach for Clemson football. His team just won the national championship last night. His one word for 2018 was joy. He said, joy is going to be my word. I want to have joy in what I do on a daily basis. I want to have joy in every practice we have. I want to have joy in every win. I want to have joy in every loss. His word for 2018 was joy. And he just capped it off by starting 2019 with the national championship. So what is that one word that resonates with you and who you want to be, how you want to live your life? Okay, that's what we're trying to get after. So step one for you is going to be this. you got to prepare yourself. You have to prepare yourself to figure out this one word. You will not do it in three seconds. Maybe you will. Uh, but you will hide, I highly doubt you will do it in three seconds. When I did this, I had to contemplate this for honestly a day. I had to think about it for a day and just think, what is that word I want to grasp onto for this year? What is that word that I want to own and make, make my own? Okay, and then take on wholeheartedly. So disengage. It might mean you, you step away from your thoughts and all the hustle and craziness going on with the first day of the, the semester. It might mean you, you go in a room by yourself. You, you sit down and eliminate every, all the distractions. You put away your phone, shut down your laptop, turn off the music, you, you go on a walk. You eliminate distractions because you have to prepare your heart for this one word. This is going to take on lots of meaning for you. Okay, That is my goal, that it takes on some meaning for you. So prepare your heart. Okay, Not just, not just your mind, but your heart because your heart needs to embrace this one word. Because if you have it in your heart, you're going to carry it out. You will. 
So disengage, prepare yourself. Second is think about what type of person do you want to be? Really, think about what type of person do you want to be? Not just who you are, but you can think that who do you want to be? Who do you want to become? Stay away from the I want to be richer. I want to be wealthier. I want to be healthier. I want to get beach body ready. Stay away from that, okay? Because that's very easy to, to say. And of course, everyone would say, well, I want to be healthier. What, what is healthier? You know, what's healthier to you is different than what's healthy, healthier to me, okay? So stay away from words like that. But who do you want to be? And then when you contemplate that, when you really think about who you want to be, I want you to think about the characteristics of that person. So what makes up that that successful person? What makes up that organized person? What makes that uh, that really outstanding person who achieves all that they want to achieve? So think of the characteristics, and that'll help you narrow down some words for yourself. Okay. And then finally, when you've gone through that process, choose your word. Choose the word that will impact you and resonates with you. My word for 2019: develop. And I thought about this. I was like, I want. I wanted to think of this crazy word that's like, man, that's a super cool word. I settled on develop. I shouldn't say I settled. I, I, I chose develop because I said I, in this 2000 year and this 2019 year, I want to develop myself to get better, to grow, to become more knowledgeable and talented than I was at the beginning of the year. And I also want to develop others, meaning you. So develop has, has a double meaning, develop myself and develop other people. I also said, uh, you know, I want to, I put down the, the definition, so to, to grow or to cause to grow and become more mature, advanced, and elaborate. I, I put down a few Bible verses that I really thought resonated with this word, developing and growing, uh, pursuing greatness. I put down embrace the process because in order to develop, I remembered it's not going to come easy. It's going to take time. One day is going to be really bad and sucky, but then the next day might be great. So I have to embrace the process to become a better developer, okay? Uh, and then I even put like a little picture of dark room. Uh, Hunter probably knows this, but you know, when you do developing pictures, like old school pictures, not just digital pictures, you have to go in a dark room, you gotta put it um, you know, in, the, in the solution, and then it creates this beautiful picture that develops. And so I, I try to come up with this concept of, I want that one word to have meaning in everything I do in life. And so I chose the word develop. Don't steal it. But I, I chose the word develop for me this 2019. Yeah. I want you to think of this one word for you. What I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you a sheet just like this for you to, to look at and design. Okay? Uh, if you want to just put the one word down there, just put the one word. Okay? I added other things on the outside just because I thought it would help remind me of why I chose that one word that it had meaning to me. So you're going to put down your one word. And on this sheet over the next couple days. Again, if you can't think of it now, don't rush and put something down that you, you don't firmly believe in. So you're going to do that on this sheet. Then you're going to choose to either do a bracelet or a rock. Okay, I have that stuff, this stuff in the back. You can either choose to take a rock, um, use the metallic sharpies, and write your one word on it. Write your one word on it. Because then put it on a rock, you put it that one word on something solid, something firm, something that won't break. Like I throw this, drop this rock, it's not gonna break on me. Okay? That one word is gonna stay strong, okay? So you can choose to put that word on a rock, or you can choose to create a bracelet, okay? A little, a little bracelet with the, the letters here. Uh, might try to get some symbols, some emoji things, but put that word on a bracelet that you have around your wrist, and never goes anywhere. So anytime you're, you're just resting, you're just sitting in class, and you're having a tough day, you know, and you look down at your wrist and you see that one word that you chose for your 2019 that'll help remind you why you're going through the tough times or why you're, you're trying to work hard every day or what you're trying to accomplish in this year, 2019. Uh, so I think both options are great. I, I don't want to tell you which one you have to do, uh, but you will choose, you will do this document, this page right here, putting your one word on there, and then choose to either Put your word on a rock or create a bracelet with your one word. You're going to do this over the next three to four days, over the next week. And we're going to touch on more of this one word concept because this is something you're going to take on for the rest of the year. All right? Uh, we're going to focus on three things over the, the next three days. We're going to focus, we're going to commit, and then we're going to act.
And as you commit to this one word you chose, I want you to take a look at this one word promise. And I took this from John Gordon, who also wrote the book by the same title. And the one word promise goes like this. I promise to live out my one word with commitment and intentionality this year. When I live out my one word, I will become a positive force in the world and make a greater impact. I will use my one word as a filter to provide laser-like focus and to help me live with power, purpose, and passion. I expect to be impacted in all areas of my life, spiritual, physical, mental, emotional, relational, and financial. I believe that my one word may change my circumstance, but it will change my character. I will invite my stretch team of friends and family to challenge and encourage me on my one word journey. I will keep my one word front and center by posting it in prominent places. And when experiencing challenges, I will use my one word as an opportunity to learn and grow. By living my one word, I will discover God's best for my life. I believe that my one word will not only impact me, but more importantly, it will impact those around me. I will ask God each day, what do you want to do in me and through me this year? Throughout the year, I will celebrate all that I have experienced, learned, and discovered. I believe my one word will shape and mold me to become the person I am meant to be and leave the legacy I am meant to leave. Choose that one word. Make that one word promise. Make an impact in your life this year.